Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The X-Files Season 2, Episode 3. We continue and see what's gonna happen. Um, if we're gonna get The X-Files back here, better be soon. I'm ready for them to be as a team again, but I can survive a couple more episodes if I need to. But it better not be too long. But yeah, alright, so as usual before we get into this, please do not forget to go check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box where you can find this show and all my other YouTube shows way in advance and fully unedited, uncut video right here without anything covering it, the whole th thing, the whole time. Also, you can get Patreon exclusive shows like Pox and Rack, Attack and Titan, Broadchurch, Battlestar Galactica, and a couple others that are just on Patreon and Patreon alone. So go check that out, okay? Okay, okay. Alright, the, the link is in the description box down below. Just, just so you know, just so you know, alright? Alright, thank you guys for watching, and without further ado, here we go. What's going on here? Oh, the lottery? What are these numbers? Oh, he's typing in zip codes. This looks like an awful job. Uh oh, jam, jam. Paper cut, okay. You okay? There's blood. It's a paper cut. Listen, Ed, I need to talk to you. What is, what's going on? It's getting fired. Yeah, this is never easy. Ah, uh, yeah. And everybody down here sure likes you a lot, Funchy. And I Funchy? know it's tough because you're new to this area. Ed, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to let you go. Ooh. And like I said, you're a good guy. But you know the story. Cutbacks and seniority and... Damn, poor head. Little man on the pole. He's gonna become a serial killer now or something. Something weird's gonna happen to him. Guys took up a collection today. Oh, that's nice. It's a hundred bucks. It seems they care about him. Look, yeah. Why don't you stay home till the end of the week? That's nice at least. Gives you a little bit of time to find something new. I move fast, damn. Kill. Oh. Whoa. Huh? Is the machine telling him to kill someone? Is he seen it, or is it actually there? Kill him. Well, if you piss up at uh, all of them, why? The, just employees. It's one thing to kill, like, your employer who fired you, but to kill everyone? They're just innocent people doing their job. Right now, this machine is telling him to kill. What the? All right, so machines are telling people to kill people now? What is happening? Did so is someone doing this or the machines come to life? Is it AI? Is it like the one AI machine from last season, that one AI program? I realize the FBI's behavioral science unit normally profiles murder suspects that are still at large, and it must be odd being asked to profile our suspects. Oh, uh, so is Mulder them. officially back in the behavioral science unit? Good for him. At least he can walk with Scully. The suspect's body is out on the sidewalk. We're holding the security guard who shot him. The oh. witnesses that were in the elevator, you can talk to them whenever you're ready. He just stopped killing them? In the elevator. Was this damaged during the incident? I'll 
find out. He always notices everything. Yeah. I would never think to look at that and be like, that's a big thing. Things like this aren't supposed to happen here. Here. 42 year old real estate agent murders four strangers with his bare hands. That is very. supposed to happen anyway. Yeah, that is very abnormal. Real times, there's only been three murders in this area. Wow. In the last six months, seven people have killed 22. Damn. Per capita, that's high. What is happening in this area? Detroit, DC. They are possessed. Angeles. This town is not any of those places. Where are we again? In front. Were autopsies conducted on the suspects for substance abuse? Agent Mulder, this town is mainly made up of apple and cherry growers. These folks. Yeah. They don't do drugs. Coroner's tests were negative. Then what was it? He was one of those nice guys. Couldn't play and didn't bitch about being stuck in right. What's field. under his fingers, though? Bought around at beers afterwards, even though he didn't drink. I played right field. Okay. <laughs> what the hell could bring anyone to do this? Good question. I don't quite know myself. He's still bleeding. What? Put your head back. Oh. oh. I was like, who's saying that? Don't touch it or it'll bleed again. Put your head back. Is he freaked out by blood or something? I forgot the name of it. There's like a name, right? Of someone who hates blood. Oh. Telling to kill the security guard. Thank you very much. Oh damn, it's giving me full instructions. Uh no thanks. Um oh god. Perpetrators of At least he's stopping himself from not doing it. That's good. Given their backgrounds, the perpetrators would be, statistically, more likely the victims of violent crimes rather than the original. Yeah. People that would normally be victims do random spree murders. I'm convinced an outside factor is responsible, but I must concede frustration as to the determination yeah, no of the cause. Evidence showing that was analyzed and reported to be an undefined but non-toxic organic chemical found on plants. What? Oh. Perhaps remaining from gardens. Oh, plants doing this? Reported abductee paranoia in UFO mass abduction cases. I was wondering when you'd get to that. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get to UFOs? <laughs> a pager. A fax machine. A cellular phone. All things that... Gas pump. Things that told them to kill. There is no way to know who will be a killer. Or who will be killed. Yeah, it all feels very random, pointless, nothing behind it. Hello? What are you doing, lady? Going into this garage by yourself at nighttime? Hello? She's asking for to be killed. If it's ready, I'll just pay you and be out of here. How did you manage to break that anyhow? Wait, is this... It's the long story. The voice. I recognize it. I tell ya, in fixing that, I found some other problems. I don't know. It's not who I thought it was. I thought it was Locke from Lost. Come back here. I'll show you. You're dead. But you ain't gonna go very far unless you get this fixed. Come here. Don't, lady. Don't. Let's trust your gut. Trust your gut. Turn around. Run away. Oh, come on, stupid, stupid lady. I know we're near that. Okay. Come over here. This episode feels very random so far. What is happening? I want you to take a look at this. Well, is the machine gonna all, tell who to kill him? Like crazy. Make it a little different, a little weird. Unusual people that would normally be the victims. Here, yep, yep, it's gonna get, get who to kill him. Switch it up on us, I love that. Oh, oh. Oh, 
This guy's actually not that bad. He's just helping you with your car. Oh, there you go. Defend yourself, man, honestly, at this point. Ooh. People just getting told to kill. This is weird. Who is doing this? Agent Mulder. Larry Winter, county supervisor. Uh, pardon my rubber. <laughs> that was weird. It's not a copy of the other homicides. This wasn't committed in a public area. The suspect fled, covering his tracks. Yeah, that's the true. Appears not it's a little different. They are connected. This is McRoberts? Yeah, you're, back. you're caught, lady. Sir, I'm Agent Fox Mulder with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. May we come in? I'm late for work. You can blame me. <laughs> it's okay if I have my breakfast. It's the day's most important meal. <laughs> Oh, is the microwave gonna tell her to kill him? Oh, God. It was uh, signed by you. Did you pick up the car last night? Damn. Yes. Does Mulder see that? Is it something where it's like actually real on the screen or is it something in their heads? But how's everyone have seen the same similar things? Is it plants? This is Messing with their heads? Some kind of poison? Toxin? Why? This is oh, 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 um, lady. Did you see something? Lady, don't try to kill the FBI. Drop it and ask for help. Tell him what. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh god! Crazy lady! <sighs> Come on! We could have taken her out without killing her. Shoot her hand or something. Several anomalies were discovered during post-mortem analysis that were undetected in previous. Autopsy. Oh, anomalies. Levels of adrenaline are known to be high in cases of violent death twice as much as in victims of natural death. Fair, yeah. Makes sense. This subject's levels were 200 times normal. Whoa. It's a lot of adrenaline. The adrenal gland displayed extensive adrenal hemorrhage, yet not from disease. Is it like a poison that's making the adrenaline getting high and making them paranoid? Analysis of the vitreous humor extracted from the eyeball indicated the presence of high concentration of an undetermined chemical compound. Oh, a chemical in their eyes. This compound at its base is similar to the substance analyzed earlier on a perpetrator's finger. A plant thing. Although further creates a substance similar to lysergic acid diethylamide. Which is? LSD. Oh. They start seeing and hearing things when their adrenaline, when they start getting scared and it makes them act out. Okay. So far, this is the only guy that can resist it a little bit right now. Me, I'd like to apply for a job. Sorry, they're not accepting applications at this time. Oh, okay, that's real, a little rude. Like, sorry, no applications. Bye. You got this, man. Hold it together. You know, don't kill anyone. Sir, may we ask you to sign up for the blood drive? I don't know if I want to share his blood right now. I don't know what's in it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Stop looking, stop looking. Look away, man. Look away, Ed. Keep it together. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep it together. You've got this. And this started happening to him after he got that paper cut. So is it 
by blood. They get a paper cut, they get something in it, and then boom. Something in this town right now. Uh. Oh. Is it something they'll put around town? A new thing? Poisoning people? What is it? It's just like a plop of manure they throw? What are those? Bugs? Why are they throwing bugs? In our April edition of The Lone Gunman, we ran an article on the CIA's new CCD-TH2138 fiber optic lens micro video camera. Well, that's a lot of words to put together. In the back of a fly. Imagine being one of those flies <laughs> on the wall of the Oval Office. <laughs> Done that. That is a Eurasian cluster fly. I love that we're seeing these three again. This one's probably been irradiated to control propagation. Or agents of competing South American agricultural corporation. So they as Franklin City employees. radiate some flies and put them around town they so don't. The flies don't keep propagating? Nope. This bug's been nuked. Oh. By an effort, though. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't read our August edition of TLG. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, boy. I know. arrived the same day as my subscription uh, to Celebrity Skin. I missed my issue, too. It's okay. Night vision goggles. Oh, Mulder, huh? where's your little partner? She <laughs> didn't come. She's afraid of her love for you. <laughs> you chased it. <laughs> you know, Prohickey, it's men like you that give perversion a bad name. I know, really. <laughs> the chemical you have in that report is called Lysergic Dimethrin. I gotta say, Mulder it looks really good sometimes without a suit. Nice tight sweater, long sleeve shirt, looking good on him. ...on the plant, which invokes a fear response in the pest. You know, get out of here, there's danger. Oh. reacts and leaves the plant. Why won't they release him? Is it possible it affects humans in the same way? It seems to be. It freaks these humans out thinking there's no other way to get besides violence. They found out that women exposed to it at higher rates of breast cancer. Oh. They convinced local officials it was even safe to spray on children. Oh, God. It took a decade of bureaucracy. No. Oh, God. I just learned how not to be so obvious. Yeah. Hey, Prohickey, can I borrow those? If I can have Scully's phone number. <laughs> oh. So they come around to spray something? Is that noise though? Maybe for your gas mask or something. I don't want it, you to get poisoned or anything. Uh, what, what, what? Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. I knew it, I knew he was about to get sprayed. Oh God. This is why you come prepared, Mulder. Still on me. I've checked up on you. Oh, Lord. You have a pension for spooky evidence. Oh, Don't Lord. Don't start with that tired yeah, shut up. crap. Don't start. Hang on a second Look, here. Look, if you're the one who's responsible for the illegal spraying, then the sooner you take responsibility, the sooner people will stop dying. Ooh. Call them out. Heavily sprayed areas. Thank you. Go. not live here, Mulder. So? I live here. So? I have my heart in this town. And I have three children. So again, not, not giving any good points. Yeah, well, if it's so safe, why was it done in secret? Yeah. What kind of a crusade are you on? It's not a crusade. Answer the question. He's, an, he's saying are we facts. Spraying? Yeah. Stop avoiding the main question. This county lives on money generated from its crops. So, spray would have caused millions in crop damage. Look at the hell they raise in California over Malathion. Meanwhile, people's lives were being ruined by us. Well, now people's lives are being ruined by being murdered. 23 people are dead. There's no proof whatsoever the spray caused oh violent behavior. God. It was proven to me to be safe. By who? Yeah. Who proved Who told you safe? this? Hmm? Yeah. You just listen to some randos who tell you, oh, no, it's fine. It's work good. It's all good. I'd love to tell you that I flew 300 miles in the middle of the night to prove <laughs> a test that proved that you were a bastion. Scully, your own autopsy reported the killer had chemical anomalies. Yes. But you are proof that it wasn't from exposure to So LSD. what was it from then? May I see that chart, Agent Scully? Sure. If it wasn't from the helicopter spraying stuff, it's where did it come from? Oh, no, he's seen it now. 
He was affected. Say something. Scully, are you familiar with subliminal messages? Subliminal mess. I mean, like, That's what it is. I knew there was a word for it. That's paranoia. Uh, no, it's a fact. Subliminal messages in their ambient music to deter shoplifting. And the Russians have been using advanced electroencephalographic techniques to control behavior. Like killing I people. I was connected with a spring. Caver was claustrophobic. McRoberts' husband stated she had a paranoia about rape. The insecticide uh, hiding their already existent fell problem. Fell out of a paranoia. Yeah. Is that told them specifically what to do with their fear in order to alleviate it. The messages were relayed purposely. By who? Uh, who would be doing this so on purpose to make people... It sounds wild, but I don't know who. Where's he going? He's probably one of those people that thinks Elvis is dead. <laughs> I was wrong. Exposure to the insecticide does induce paranoia. <laughs> I think this area is being subjected to a controlled experiment. Oh, controlled from by who? who? So the government doing experiments on this small town? By a corporation, by reticulans? They've All done the above. Before. DDT in the 50s, Agent Orange, yeah. germ warfare. Yes, but why, Mulder? Why would they intentionally create a populace that destroys itself? To see if they can do it in other countries. It's the oldest tool of power. They can do it in a place they're fighting it's a war in. By fear of those Boom. around you. It keeps you from seeing the actions of those above. Oh. Uh. I just had a talk with Mr. Winter. I persuaded him to a compromise. Oh? He's agreed to stop the spread and to blood testing extensively. Of people exposed to the spray area, but yeah, but but what's the but? The official explanation of the testing cannot be linked to the side effects of LSD. Okay, we'll figure out something else to say, but at least to get the testing, it's something. It's a compromise. Frank I think that's willing to do. Ah, oh, that's cholesterol on. testing. Fun. Volunteers will be coming to your door, or you may report at your convenience to Franklin Community General. Is this the person the doing it? Is very simple. Oh no, this is infected. Poor Ed, having a bad, bad week. Screening can save your life. So when those volunteers come to your door... Oh no. That's a lot of weapons. Some guns. Oh, the paranoia. It's getting to him. Oh, she's about to die. Blood, blood, blood. Oh, God. Woman, you are ringing incessantly. If someone doesn't answer the door right away, walk away. She's asking to be killed for all that ringing, honestly. Even a calculator? Okay, that's weird then. How, how could someone purposely be getting a message on a calculator? That's not even like connected to internet, Wi-Fi, any of that, Bluetooth, well, I guess back in the day, I don't know. But still, insane with the watch. How could they do that? It must be all on the head. This is a list of people for one reason or another having checked out. There's about 25. Only seven more to go. Ed. Frustrated Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> yep, the gun is gone. 10.30? The blood test. Freaked him out, made him paranoid. I don't know where he's going. Where? Hospital? Oh no. He's afraid of blood. He's going to a hospital. That's... You realize I was shooting all these people is gonna make a lot more blood? Stop! Stop! Hey! Alright, alright. Okay. Hold on a second. Chill. Thank you. Where are you going? What you, what you, you really gonna do this, Ed? Come on. Keep it together, you only a little bit longer, and then they can help you.
Okay, shoot up a whole bus full of people. Wait for the next stop. Please, I'm on the wrong bus. Wait for the next stop. On the door! Oh, God. Uh, no, Ed. Negative on that north-south line. Copy that. If he's on it, it's gonna be this line. Except he got off already. We'll have to wait him out. I don't think he's waiting. He might just end up going to the college and doing it. We'll drive there, yep. Oh god. Hold it together, Ed. Come on, you don't do this. Don't listen to the board. Oh, you're gonna go sniper. Oh no. The driver, damn. Oh god, not the orange juice. Pastor, come on. Oh my god, he's lost it. Uh, oh. Shoot him in the leg or something. In the hand, arm. You don't have to kill him. <laughs> You make me put it down, man. It's like I can't put it down myself. You need to do it for me. Ed, if Ed. Don't put it down. There's gonna be blood. He was very sweaty everywhere. from those stairs. Understandably. It's like God hot up there. Oh no, he's bleeding. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, ooh, oh god. I want unrestricted access to him for questioning. Mulder, you know more about what happened to him than he does. Yeah. He has no idea what just he, why he did what he did. He's just a confused, crazy man who got pushed and poisoned. Uh oh, he's seen it. All done. What? Bye bye. I don't like that. Is it real or not? I thought it wasn't, but I don't know. But if he has it in him, uh oh. Renette doesn't want him to kill. Mulder, is that you? Mulder, where are you? This was. This was an interesting one. Um, there was no clear answer, even like, I don't know. It Was it just, the question is, is, was it just the toxins that they were spraying, that these people got sprayed with and made them, their paranoia even more paranoid? Because he was saying it's like these all, these people have phobias and are scared of something and it pushed it to the limit, and when their adrenaline raised, it rose their adrenaline way more. So when they, they're, fo they're near their phobias, claustrophobic blood, stuff like that, or being, fear of being raped like the one lady, it makes you do crazy things. 
So is it making maybe for Mulder, it's making him more paranoid about there being a conspiracy conspiracy theory and someone behind it sending messages and trying to make people kill stuff? Or is it just that the, these chemicals are making them paranoid and making them see these messages? But what are the chances that all of these people are seeing messages and, on technology? What are other ways they could have seen or heard someone saying something? But why is it all the same exact way? That's what makes me think it could be someone who's entering them and doing experiments on this town and testing this out. Because if you can make a town go crazy and kill e themselves, kill each other, that's... Government would want that. The government would want that, for sure. Um, or maybe it's just these chemicals made these people go crazy and kill when they got confronted with their phobias and got scared. And that's... We're just seeing that Mulder has a fear of there being people behind the scenes doing stuff and hurting people and he's paranoid about it, and that's his phobia and that's what we're seeing so we don't know if truly this was someone that someone planned to wanted people to kill each other or if this was a pure accident because some people did some stupid stuff putting out chemicals they shouldn't have and it just so happens this seems to be a side effect, a consequence of it all, is that these people are getting sick and killing. We may never know. I will be thinking about that for a while, though. Alright, thank you guys for watching so, so much. I hope you have enjoyed my reaction, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Don't forget to go check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.